what is up? Sitting here watching this play on StreamYard and it's just now picking up on YouTube. So anyways, welcome in guys. Good to see you. It is Monday, which means it's Monday Motivation Night. So welcome if you are coming here to get motivated, to have some hope, to get some excitement, uh, to feel safe, whatever it may be you're in the right place. So if you do not know who I am, I am Pamela, aka Scooter Renee. I'm your host for tonight's Monday Motivation, as I am for all Monday Motivations. So welcome in. If you don't mind, please do all the youtube -y things. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do ring the bell to be, and make sure you mark all so you are notified for all notifications of when I go live or upload new content new content not contact and a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate you doing that for me either now at the end in between as long as you do it that's all i care about so thumbs up greatly appreciate it uh let's see welcome if you are new to my channel welcome in i'm so glad that you're here i hope you'll come back for my auctions i have on tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays and then, of course, Monday Motivation is every Monday night at 8 p.m. Central, unless I'm sick or traveling, which is coming up soon. Yay! The, the traveling part, not the sick part. So, knock on wood, right? So, all my OGs, it's so good to see you guys. I am so happy that you are here, especially ones I haven't seen in a while, like Kathy Sweet. Like, that just makes my night. Also, the playback crew, thank you again. Just goes to show, if you can't catch me live, you can always catch the playback. That way you don't miss out on anything, but it is so much more fun to be here live so you can be in the action while I'm talking and everything and chatting with the group and so forth. So, but again, thank you to my playback crew for being here as well. So let's see who's in the chat real quick. We got Stephanie here first in the house. Welcome in, Stephanie. Good to see you. We got Lisa D here. Hey, Lisa D. She said it's snowing there and it's no joke. And I'm looking at my temp. It's 74 degrees here. And I, I like that Stephanie said that that's uh, me no likey list. Yes, that's me no likey list too. So that is so hard to believe, Lisa D. Kathy, sweet. There she is. Welcome in, my friend. So good to see you. We got Cool Ranch, my sister. Welcome in. Good to see you, Cool. And then we got my baby girl, Harley, here. Harley had a very successful, um, what do you call it, process, whatever, last Friday? <laughs> Procedure. That's the word I'm looking for. So thank you guys for all your prayers for Harley. Nancy Smith is in the house. Welcome in, Nancy. Oh, and Harley, if Elle's there. Hey, Ellie, Billy. Ah, Gigi loves you. And let's see, we got Joanne here. Hey, Joanne, welcome in. Good to see you. All right. Shelby's in the house. Hey, Shelby, welcome in. Good to see you. Corinne said they had... Have had a lovely rain shower. April showers bring Mayflowers, right? Yes. There's my Selena. That's my feather sister. Welcome in, Selena. Good to see you. As y'all can see, Selena did hers, her procedure very well Friday. So, again, thank you for your prayers for her as well. Oh, she waved. Hi, Ellie Billy. <laughs> Love my Ellie Billy. All right. I think I've got everybody. More people will come in as the notification gets out there and so forth. Guys, if you wouldn't mind, share this out as well. I'm always um, wanting to grow, but I do like our tight, close-knit family that we have here as well. So, But feel free to share this out if you feel like someone needs a little bit of motivation in their life as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, real quick. Uh, thanks to Selena for letting me know. Um, I don't know him very well myself, but I found out today that Toochman um, lost his father unexpectedly today. So if you guys can add Toochman to your prayers, he is on some auctions. You'll see him. I uh, believe he's been on Rita, the Buddha Chicks channel, and a few other channels as well. Um, 
But if y'all could just lift him up in prayer, uh, that hits close home to me and probably some of you in chat as well. So if you could please just lift him up in prayer, I would greatly appreciate that. Oh, look who's getting called Auntie. Harley's calling Auntie Selena. <laughs> oh. All right. So tonight's topic is on loosen your bone. I got bones in there, but it's bone. And in, again, it's in the book, you are a, you are a badass chapter. It's, it's title in the book. If you have the book, you're falling along, or you get the book later. The chapter is actually titled, Loosen Your Bone, Win, Wilma. Um, so now what on earth could that possibly even mean? We're going to discuss it. But first, a few announcements for you guys real quick. This month is the month that Robert and I are traveling. So my schedule for this week is I will do an auction Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then next week, I will only be doing an auction on Tuesday. I'll do Monday Motivation and then an auction on Tuesday. The rest of the week um, for next week will be Buy It Now videos that I have planned for next Wednesday and Thursday. So be watching out for those. So I won't be live on those two days but you'll see those two videos. Um, the week that we are going, which will be the following week, I will have Buy it Now videos for that Tuesday, that Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, Robert and I might go live, but I'm, I'm just not sure on that yet because we're going to be traveling quite a bit, driving in the car and, and sourcing. So by the time we get to the hotel, I just don't know if we'll be completely up to it. We might go live while we're shopping. I don't know. Um, but that's why I'm filling in with Buy it Now videos on my channel for the for the next two weeks. Um, I don't think we will go live the day I hopefully hold a slot, which is why we're going. Those of you that know me, uh, I don't think we'll go live while that's happening. Uh, but I hope to upload a video of it so you guys can see it and definitely tons of pictures. So Robert will be in charge of all of that. So. Uh, shipping real quick shipping those that like to get their packages in a timely manner I'm going to do this week's auctions I will invoice sometime something I say sometime during Eclipse weekend because this is Eclipse weekend and it's a huge weekend for Arkansas supposedly I'll believe it when I see it when everybody's here supposedly um, but this is the big weekend I am helping out at hometown on Friday Saturday and Sunday so that's why I'm saying at some point Hopefully, I'll get those invoices out before Sunday. Um, I just know we're working from 9 until 6. Uh, we'll actually be doing it on Monday, but I have to work from home Monday, so I'm not quite sure yet if I'll be up there for that. Um, and plus, I like to watch the Eclipse with Robert, so we're both working from home that day. So, uh, But I'll definitely get them out to you by Sunday is what I'm looking for. Sunday by midnight. Let's put it that way. Make it even safer. Um and then that following week, I will get your package. So next week, I will get your packages out. All the packages have gone out that of y'all have paid up till today. All those packages are either shipped or being shipped tomorrow. Um, if you buy anything next Tuesday night and the Buy It Now videos, I'll invoice as soon as I'm back. And items will be shipped out the week of April 22nd. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that. Um, so there will be a small delay in shipping, possibly. Um, just want to give y'all guys a heads up on that. You guys know I don't like disappointing you, and I don't like not meeting expectations either. So uh, we try to make sure everything runs smoothly around here and timely. And so just want to give y'all a heads up and y'all not be thinking, well, what's up with that? You know, uh, we will also have at the end of tonight's topic we will have our hashtag drawing for the month of march and i've decided we will have three more winners tonight so three winners tonight so you guys stay tuned uh, to see if you're a winner or not so back to the loosen your bone um or loosen your bone wilma it simply means relax have more fun don't sweat the small stuff be intentional in loosening up and being more mindful of being more present. So, real quick. All right, guys, 
positive spot thought. You don't paddle against the current. You paddle with it. And you get good at it. You th- or when you get good at it, you throw away the oars. That was said by Chris Christo- Christopherson. Uh, he is a singer, songwriter, and actor. So, now if you remember, don't sweat the small step. There, there's a movie on Lifetime. Speaking of sweat the small stuff, just real quick. There's a book most of y'all probably heard of that says don't sweat the small stuff. Um, and there's a movie about his passing and everything and what his wife went through and how she came out with her book. Anyways, if you're looking for a feel good movie, I believe it's on Lifetime. I know it's on Lifetime and I believe it's called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff as well or something along that line. So just kind of Google that and you'll find it. But it's really good touching movie if you're if you're into stuff like that i don't even know who he is joanne you'll have to tell me (laughs) congratulations stephanie yes yeah i ended up doing a sale on poshmark made two sales today so love it yay all right kathy Right, Stephanie? That's, yeah. If it's going to be as crazy as they claim, my boss and I, we are thinking that this is going to be like Y2K. Everybody's going to get all worked up about it. The news has hyped it up. Everything's been hyped up about Arkansas and so forth. And, yeah, there's not going to be that many people here. But we shall see. We shall see. (laughs) Yes, Joanne, yes. A Star is Born. Is that him? I love that movie. That's like my favorite movie. Is that him though? Y'all let me know in chat. So now if you remember Wilma from the Flintstones, how many of y'all remember her? Um, You know, she was married to Fred Flintstone and they were best friends with Barney and Betty Rubble. Anyone remember the cartoon? You know, since we're talking about remembering who people are and so forth anyways. (laughs) In the 70s. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> so, you know, they were best friends, but sometimes those women, and including the baby that is, you know, they wore the little bo- the bone in their hair. Well, sometimes that would get a little too tight. And so that's where the phrase of loosen the bone, you know, came from because they had those in their hair, right? Modern Stone Age family, yes. So in the original movie, I did not know that that was, there was an original movie of A Star is Born. I mean, I assumed there was, since that's what y'all were talking about, so. I don't know. I really like the Lady Gaga one. (laughs) I'll have to check that out. Hey, Aisha, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome in. I'm so glad you explained the bone thing. Well, you know. (laughs) I gotta, like, get y'all's interest, right, somehow? (laughs) So, but there are so many times that we can all, we can just get up tight. There are, there are some, however, maybe some of you that constantly stay wound up tight and you just need to loosen up. And I, I feel that Robert is the one that stays wound up and I'm the one who can let loose when I need to. So, uh, I don't like always being so serious, you know. I, I gotta have some fun in there and so forth. So, but there's no fun in staying up tight all the time. There's none, none whatsoever. Okay, got it. Barbara Starstein, got it. So in the book, she talks about her trip to India and how, you know, over there everything is bright, it's colorful. Um, But it's also cramped with the housing, the cars, and the buses. And she talks about her trip that she takes and how crowded this bus is. And how you can either, one, go with the flow and get to know your neighbor. Or two, grow a big, fat, stress-related tumor. So, one or the other. And she said that over there, they seem to go for option number one. And so you make lots of friends when you're on the bus because you're just like cuddled up. And I think in the book, it even talks about how you might even find yourself being spooned because everybody's having to, you know, lay on top of each other, or, you know, lay next to each other or whatever, you know. 
but everybody just over there they just didn't th think it was normal you know over here we would all be like uh excuse me get off of me <laughs> but i want us to look at it from another angle as well what about how we hold on to things sometimes we tend to hold on to things from the past and we hang on to it so tightly that we don't know how to let it go jimmy mac when are you coming back hey jimmy welcome in well, Selena, we need to fix that. So, you know, we hang on to it, that, that past, everything that's happened in our past, some of us, certain things we might hold on from our past, but we just hang on to it and we can't let loose because we, we, we got such a grasp on that. And that baggage, we all have baggage of some sort. Some baggages look fancier than others. Some look tattered and like they're about to just fall apart. And if they are, then we put a little bit of duct tape around it because we're just trying to contain all this baggage that we carry around with us. Hey, Francine, welcome in. Good to see you. And sometimes we are carrying things. We are carrying these things from day to day, week after week, month after month. And before we know it, it can be a year. And some have been carrying things around for five years or 10 years and maybe even longer. I can't imagine the weight and, the, and being so tired from carrying that. Right, Jimmy Mac? Yes. Echo, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. So it's time to start unpacking and start and start healing from those things and let those things go. Loosening up, loosening your grip to your bone if you are holding to things from your past. Loosen that bone, Wilma. Who, not what. Gotcha. For some... It, it has become easier to uh, hang on to that and, and it can feel more comfortable to carry this baggage because it's what you've known for so long. And even it can be comfortable to feel sad or feel upset or to feel depressed because there's no effort involved. You don't have to make an effort to put a smile on your face or to talk to somebody new or you just stay content in what you know and what you've done for all these years you just allow those feelings to just rush in and you just let it take over you just to sit there sometimes is easy to feel bad and sometimes we need to feel those emotions and i understand that 100 percent. i'm always telling harley have your pity party feel sorry for yourself if you need to have your pout session, kick, scream, whatever you need to do, get it out of your system. It's the important thing that she remembers, and even you guys on the other side of the screen here, the important thing is you don't want to stay there because if you stay there, it affects your moods, it affects your thought, your relationships, and then more importantly, it affects your physical health, your mental health and your emotional health. So you, that's why you do not need to stay there. No worries, Jimmy. I know we didn't get to do last Monday motivation on forgive or fester, but we will later. I promise we will bring that up because I feel like that's a very important topic to discuss as well. But the biggest key to loosening your bone, your grip, if you want to use, is forgiving yourself. This is what will allow the healing and moving forward to begin. Does it necessarily mean that it'll make the pain go away? No. But you'll lighten your load as you continue to heal. You impact at least one item, one less piece of weight that's going to weigh you down from your baggage. Sometimes we're holding on with such a tight grasp to these things 
And we don't even realize that these things that we're hanging on to so tightly are no longer even serving a purpose in where we're at in life on this journey that we're on. There's no more purpose to it. Hey, Tammy, good to see you. My cursor's decided to like not want to work. Hey, Tammy. There you go, Lisa D. Meditate. Yes, loose up and relax. Yes. Good job, Lisa D. And then also, when we're hanging on so tight, we're actually working against the current instead of going with it. Let's see what Corinth said. I just ordered the book here. Yay! There you go. Yes. So she said it's only $6.99 on Amazon and free Kindle access to read it right away. There you go. Awesome. Now in the book, she does not go into what I'm sharing with tonight. I kind of took, because she really just talks about the India trip. Um, so I took that and then I twisted it myself. So we're kind of touching it, kind of not in the chapter of the book. So just put that out there. Um. But again, we're, when we're hanging on so tight, we're actually fighting against that current instead of going with it. And the current, regardless how hard we're fighting against it, it still takes us to a certain place. The irony is that when you decide to loosen your grip, loosen your bone, the more things tend to happen. More value gets added. And you put yourself more into things. Francine says she tries to meditate. It never works. Cleaning helps really. Yes. Exercise also helps. Yes. Yes. Robert, anytime I would get mad back in the day, like I would start cleaning the house furiously. And he would always know that I was upset about something. Funny how that's fade over time, though. <laughs> I love that you do that. Give it the scooterism spin, right? Yes. I was like, how can I talk about India? Like, I, yeah. So, but anyways, here we go. So let me ask you all a question. If you decided to do this, if you decide to loosen your grip, loosen your bone, whatever you want to call it, if you decide to do that, what is the worst thing that could happen? What is the worst thing that can happen if you do that? If you, well, let me back up. The worst thing that can happen is you're not here. You're not alive. You're not here to experience the world around you because you're hanging on so tight to all that, that whatever you have in that baggage. Good night, Tammy. No worries. Being that I'm here you're here in chat you're watching me right now we might as well live that's what life is and so what what what's life if you're not actually living it and i know it sounds cliche but it's so freaking obvious and yet we don't do it we don't do it So how do we go about doing this? How, how do we let some of that baggage, the weight of it, not weigh us down anymore? Me saying it to you guys is, is going to have limited effectiveness for you guys. But it's in these moments that we're forced into a state of experience. We're forced into a state of not working. We're forced to loosen our grip. My neck surgery. Y'all know I had to kick back for a little while. I can't, I can't just come on here and do whatever. My voice went and all that. I was forced to loosen my grip on some things. When I had my ACL surgery, my ACL repaired, I had to depend on Robert for so much crap that I wasn't used to. But I had to learn to loosen my grip that I don't have to do everything. And it's okay to depend on somebody at times when you need that help. So that's what I'm saying is when we're forced into the state of not working, 
where we realize that we've been knocked around no matter what we actually do and we can either fight upstream or we find the current. Well, then you need to start doing something, Selena. You already done one thing, and that's not having to take care of the kids every day. So you're, you're. I think you're on the right path. You have to find balance. That's the next topic, Selena. You, you have to find a balance. You have to learn to work smarter, not harder, and you have to learn to go with the current and stop fighting against it. It's a matter of knowing your value. It's a matter of you saying that I don't have to be around these people in these type of environments, or I don't have to be around these type of situations. It's knowing your value and reminding yourself of these situations you have in your baggage in order for you to finally see the value in yourself. Let me say that back again, as I put it in my notes, or reminding myself of these situations I have in my baggage in order for me to finally see the value in myself. Maybe we put these kind of things in our baggage that have no weight, but it still combats against the weight of the negative. So we're putting things in there that might not have a whole lot of weight, but there's still negative things that we put in there. That's when you gotta turn around and say, I love me, independent of you loving me. I love me, independent of you loving me. I believe in me. I know my self-worth. I am here and I have a purpose. Every day, I am a work in progress. You are a work in progress. And I'll probably repeat this in the future, but forgiveness is giving up the hope. Forgiveness is giving up the hope. Not holding on, hoping or wishing that it could have have that it could have happened any other way than it was. Giving up the hope that the past could be any different. Get it? Giving up the hope that the past would have been any different, could have been any different. When you get that, when you understand that, you'll understand that letting go, giving up the hope so that the past does not hold you a prisoner, so you're not held as a hostage. Whatever we're experiencing in our lives now, know that it has not come to stay. Woo! Whatever we're experiencing in life, in our lives now, know that it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. It's just going through, maintaining perspective, putting it in perspective. That right there just gives me chills. It's not here to stay. It's going to pass. That's why you always hear the phrase, this too shall pass. And just like the river, we flow through life and sometimes we do. We, we have to go against the tide when we find ourselves in the ways of life. Just so we can get back on track and we can get back to the flow. You have to learn to loosen your grip and to enjoy the life that you have. You got just this one life, guys. There's no other life after this. This one life. What will you do when you realize you're hanging on too tight to this baggage you carry around? You're going to loosen your grip or you can continue to hang on to it because it wasn't meant for you to hang on to. One last point I'm going to put about this. You see, God brings some people in your life to get you from point A to point B. I've experienced this myself. 
the thing you were counting on to get you to the other side, the job you thought you would retire with, the house you thought you had the rest of your life, but the storm got it. Those waves came crashing down. How many of you have lost some things in the storm in those crashing waves? We all have. You lost some people in the storm. It made you feel like a failure. But guess what, guys? Guess what? It was a temporary blessing. That baggage that you're hanging on to, if it was meant to stay, it couldn't leave. You're in love with what you had. And you think that if your life doesn't retain the shape that you started it with, you don't think that it can get you where you're going. Every blessing doesn't come to stay. Every friend is not going to be a lifelong friend. And if they walk away, don't stand there and cry over what was. Because if you have needed them for the future, whatever person you want to plug in there, if you had needed them for the future, they would have stayed. We all have things in life that happens to us that we just don't understand. Doors that have closed or people who have left us. It's easy to live frustrated and fight against everything and tighten our grip that much more. We think that's what's holding us back. But everything, and I mean everything, guys, everything serves his plan. Not just the good things. The person that is walking away is serving his plan. If that hadn't happened, you couldn't reach your destiny. So loosen your grip so you can enjoy what he has planned for you next. We need to see difficulties in a new life. How do you know because you're holding on? Your grip is so tight. How do you know that the door that was closed or that disappointment is not setting you up for something that you've never seen? We can only begin to see that when we loosen our grip. Right, Selena? Amen. Right? Yes. Only one life on this earth, but an afterlife with Jesus. So that's what I'm planning on. Right? Amen, Amy. I, I feel weird calling you that. Cool ranch. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, even when when we are together face to face, I still have to call her Cool Ranch when we're together. <laughs> but I thought that was so important to share with you guys that even the bad things that we have all gone through, in our lives, no matter what it may be, that that is still serving his plan, God's plan for you. There are eight things. I know, right? Cool. Like it just throws me off when I say that. It feels foreign to me. So going back to the book real quick, guys. There, there are eight things that the author in the book says to tap into the mother load of loosening your grip. There are eight things. And we're going to go through them really quick. One, talk to strangers. We're all family on this planet. Just like when y'all come in here on Monday nights, when you come into the auctions, we all feel like we're family. But we didn't know that at first. We were all strangers to one another. So talk to strangers. Two, I know, right? Cool. <laughs> Two, expect and enjoy the unexpected. Three, find the humor. There, there is, and I'll ask for prayers for him too. There's a guy that is brand new to my office that is going through really, 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 really hard time right now. And granted, he has brought a lot of this on himself. That's all I will say. He's brought it all on himself. But at the same time, it just feels like everybody is just 
kicking him down, like tearing him up one side down the other. That he has shared so much with me, and he's only been up for like two weeks. He has shared so much with me that I told him the other day, I was like, you just got to laugh at some of this because what else do you do? And so find the humor in what you're going through. Number four, join the party. Number five, live in the moment. Number six was time spent enjoying yourself is never time wasted. Go get that hair done. Go get those nails done. Whatever you do to pamper yourself, yourself, uh, whatever, read a good book, whatever you do to enjoy yourself, know that it's never time wasted. Number seven, share your space. And number eight, loosen your bone. And of course, she ends the chapter, as always, love yourself and life becomes a party. All right, guys, there is so much more that I want to cover, but I had to narrow it down on what I want to share. But I hope you enjoyed tonight's topic. I hope it kind of made you um, kind of go, hmm, you know, made you think on a couple of things. Um, so if y'all want to discuss anything now, we can discuss some things. Um, otherwise, I will move on to the announcements and we'll move on to the hashtag drawing. So. It's a very uh, short chapter in here. It's like three pages, maybe. I've actually, I've noticed going through this book with you guys has got me to read it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's like two, three, maybe three and a half pages is what it is, but it's good. Oh, you're so welcome, Lisa D. No we're Hey, Josie, welcome in. Welcome in, Josie. Oh, I wish my mouse would just work. There we go. Welcome in. I, I know, cool. I know. he He's 30 years old, and I mean, like I said, he, he brought so much on it of himself, but I mean, nobody knows what, you're, what you would do in that situation unless you're walking in those shoes. So I told him that, you know, he would find that I'm one of the least judgmental people out there because it's not my job to judge anybody because I know what's in my closet. He knows what's in his closet. Y'all know what's in your own closet that, you know, and sometimes we just need someone to listen and be there and not be there to tear us down. So, you know, I can just go on and on. I know, right, Selena, the feather one? Yes, I love that one. Well, I hope you have some great sales, Josie. Yeah, young pup, 30. Yes, yeah. And there's so much more to the story, but to respect his privacy, I'm not going to share any more than what I've shared. Um, but if y'all can just pray for him, you know, he's just in a very dark place with it all, and understandably so, so... Right, Lisa D? Exactly. That's not our job. It's like I told him, I was like, now would I necessarily have done or handled things the way you did? No. But that's me. And I don't know what I would do if I'd been in his situation. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's very, very sad. Your son is 30, Lisa? Yeah, my, my Otis, she'll be, she'll be 30 in August. And then Harley will be 28. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> and then Ashley, our youngest, she will be 27. So it's like, geez, where did the time go? I was following someone the other day and they were like, uh, the guy was like, oh, you're just young. I was like, I'm approaching 50. Thank you. He's like, no way. No way. He's like, maybe 38, but no. <laughs> Yes, please do. And I know I can share his name with you guys off the screen, um, but I don't want to say his name here live. So just know it's a young man that's hurting a lot and has a lot of people against him instead of for him. So, all right, guys, real quick announcements, and then we will do the hashtag drawing. Wow. 
now, Selena. <laughs> um, tomorrow night, providing that she's feeling good and feels up to it, Selena will be on with me for the prize short of a Happy Meal live auction uh, show Wednesday night. I will be back with Tammy. She will be coming um, at you live for another running on Wednesday. And then Thursday night, Cool Ranch, my sister, will be back on with me for another Throwdown Thursday. So all of those will be at 8 p.m. Central right here on my channel. So, all right, we're going to do the drawing. And again, I've got three different things for the person to choose from. Uh, so again, we're going to have three winners. So all three will be given out, but hopefully everybody's here because that was fun last time when everybody was here. I got you, Stephanie. That's right. You got your setup. Yes. All right. So again, I always like to show you how many entries have been put in here. So there's a lot of people that answer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're brand new to my channel. I do shorts on my channel almost at least every day during the week, just about. I might throw a weekend in there. Uh, but in the video, I give you a hashtag, and that's all you got to comment with is a hashtag uh, and the word that I give you in the hashtag. And then you get entered to the drawing. You get one per day, and you have from the first of the month to the end of the month at midnight to get them all in. You can put them in at any point. It doesn't matter. Um, just long as they're in by midnight on that last day. So here we go. No, oh, thank you, Lisa D. 36, 30, and 17. Wow. I feel like we're giving like bingo numbers. <laughs> All right, let's see who our first winner is. Oh, I don't I haven't seen Casey, but Casey Collins is our first winner. So, Casey, if you're lurking, come on in and say that you're here. If you're not lurking, then whatever prize whatever prize is left is the one that I will give to you. So, I don't know if Casey's here or not. I know she's been sick. So, but sometimes her husband, Nicholas, is watching. So, I'm finally getting used to that. All right, our second winner. And I haven't seen her either, Jessica. And Jessica always donates hers. So, Jessica, if you're... Oh, Casey's here. Yay. All right. So, Jessica will get whatever's left over. And then sometimes, most of the time, Jessica donates hers. So, we'll let her decide how she wants to do that. But, Casey, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're feeling better. All right, Casey. So, you get to pick between one, two, and three. Three. And I will tell you guys, just to let you know, these are all Scooter books. They are all Scooter books. So pick one, two, or three, Casey. One, two, or three. And then if Jessica is lurking, or if y'all can get, I know Jessica's been dealing with some things as well. Number two. You've got $3 in Scooter Bucks, Casey. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, Casey, I've got your name on there. You have won $3 in Scooter Bucks. Congratulations. Thank you for always participating. I think Casey and Jessica probably enter the most. <laughs> So, all right, mixing it up again. If I draw one of their names, I'll obviously draw again. So, all right, one more. Hey, Deborah, welcome in. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, and I think she's already gone to bed. What are we going to do? Tammy. Tammy is our third winner. So, Tammy, you have won. So, I don't know. I don't think Jessica's in here, and I don't think Tammy is here. So, 
what I will do is I will email them or message them and say pick two or one or three, and then that's how we divvy up. So obviously I will announce this tomorrow, and well, hopefully tomorrow might be the next day because it depends on when I get a contact back. Um, Jessica might be coming. Okay, all right. Tell her she's a winner. So we need her to pick. <laughs> Ah, there she is. Hey, Jessica. Welcome in. You are the second winner for tonight. So, uh, the hashtag drawing. So, I pulled your name. And so, you get to pick between, um, oh, I say envelope. These aren't in envelopes. Number one or number three? Number one or number three? And then I know you, you will tell me what you want me to do with it. Number one or number three? Congratulations to our winners tonight. We had Casey Collins, Jessica, and Tammy. Well, Casey's already won. Casey's already got a prize. Or I can draw again. I can draw again if you want me to, Jessica. Let me know. <laughs> cool Ranch says draw again and then Jessica comes in and says give it to Cool Ranch <laughs> just trying to make it fair guys just making it fair alright so cool one or three which, which one's saying your name thank you Jessica your support always means the world to me so thank you for always being here and supporting others as well one or three. Which one's speaking your name? Cool. Number three. All right. Number three. $2 in Scooter Bucks. Cool Ranch. $2 in Scooter Bucks. Thank you, Jessica. And thank you, Cool. Congratulations. And so that means Tammy's not here, but I'll go ahead and reveal what she won. And she'll either watch this or she'll find out in the short video tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa D, for letting her know as well. <laughs> you guys were so good to each other. I love you guys. So Tammy won number one. And Tammy got $4 in Scooter Bucks. So there we go. $4. So congratulations, Tammy. Congratulations, Casey. And congratulations to Jessica slash Cool Ranch, right? So there you go. So I dropped today's video, short video, with the hashtag, your first hashtag for April. And then, of course, there'll be more for the rest of the month. Guys, you have these to use. I will keep them over here on my desk. So when you decide you want to use it, they'll be available for you to use. So, oh, thank you, Casey. I'm so I know what Nicholas shared with me. Um, what happened? We thought I was having a heart attack. I cannot move my left arm. It turned out to be a twist. Oh, twist that nerve in my left arm. Mm. I can move it some now. It take almost two weeks before I'm better. Well, I pray that you get to fill in much, much better, much sooner. That's what I'm trying to say. So, guys, if y'all can add Casey to your prayer list as well. Anna, I'm crazy. How are you? Where have you been, girl? Good to see you. Good to see you, Anna. Thank you, Jessica. I appreciate you as always. You're so, so sweet. All right, guys, anything else? Anything else before I let y'all go? We are at the 50-minute mark. Anything else? So good to see all of you tonight. 
Hope you all had a great Easter this past weekend and everything. Robert and I had a quiet one. I actually rest a lot yesterday, so. I haven't either, Lisa D. Yep, I haven't either. All right, everybody. If there's nothing else, what's pff, really you gotta ask that question, cool. What's your favorite animal? Y'all know. They're all over my house. The sloth. <laughs> it's my favorite animal. It's my spirit animal. It's what I really believe I am. <laughs> if I was one of those people that kind of relate or that, you know, what do they call them? You know what they're called, Cool Ranch, because you and Mike are the first ones they introduced me to it. Uh, furries or whatever they call themselves, you know, that they relate to a cat or a dog or whatever. I would relate to a sloth if, if I believed in that. <laughs> right, Lisa D? Like, oh, I told Robert, I said, it. even if I get to pet one, I said, I just will hate that we drove that far thinking I was going to get to hold one and not happen. So fingers crossed, prayers going up, that all that works out. <laughs> oh happy birthday anna happy happy birthday happy birthday to you happy happy birthday from us for me to you and i never worked in the restaurant and sang that i just heard it enough <laughs> but happy birthday you're gonna have an awesome birthday tomorrow anna yes cool i love watching those they're such sweet animals so sweet all right guys y'all have a great rest of your night thank you again guys for being here remember loosen your bone and let's do this thing good night guys <laughs>